Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. Bins in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Inside your cut window inside DaVinci Resolve, left click on this icon once to open this part of your DaVinci Resolve software. Press Ctrl and I to insert multiple media clips that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. I am going to select two video files inside a computer folder that I have already set up named folder one. The first clip features a red bucket and the second clip features Bobby the dog. If I left click hold my mouse button down and highlight both of these and click on open and both the video clips that I have inserted should appear under master inside the media pool. What if we wanted to organize our media files better inside our media pool rather than having several different files displayed on the same menu? Underneath the media pool tab, you should see an arrow appearing, which you can left click on and choose add bin. Alternatively, you can right click on the media pool background around your media files and choose the add bin option here as well. Left click once and a folder icon should appear with the bin label underneath this. To rename this folder, simply right click and choose rename bin. Type in the name of your folder and press enter when you're done. What I can now do with my mouse is to left click on the thumbnail of the video with Bobby, for example, here and hold my mouse button down and drag this to the bobby bin. Let go of the left mouse button once your cursor is over the folder and a small box with an arrow pointing to the right appears over your new bin. Let go of the left mouse button and the clip that you have dragged into your bin should disappear from the main media pool master. If I double click on this bin now, the clip of Bobby can be found inside. If I right click on the media pool background and choose remove all clips in bin, left click once on remove which appears on the new window, then the video clip of Bobby disappears. I can return to the main folder master by left clicking on the master label in the top here and I have returned to the main media pool directory with the red bucket video still appearing. If I access the bobby bin once more by double left clicking here, if I press control and I once more, going back to folder one, I can find Bobby's clip here again. I'm going to left click on this and click on open. The clip with Bobby appears inside the new bin which I created. Therefore, for any media file which you wish to have appear in any particular bin that you have created in this project, you must make sure that this is selected underneath the media pool. If I go back to master now by left clicking, if I were to do the control and I enter option again, any media file that I select will appear inside this folder instead of the bin with Bobby. Bins can also be created inside existing bins also. If I go back to the Bobby bin, and right click and choose add bin, a new bin appears. If I double left click on this bin here, we can see the directory path being displayed above this particular pool where the media files will show. Returning to the bin with Bobby now, if I right click on the media pool background here to the side of the bin and the Bobby clip, we have an option called relink clips for bin. What does this do? Inside a file explorer window on my computer, I can see the two video clips which I inserted into my project from folder one. If I now right click on the folder background and choose new folder and rename this folder two, press enter. What I am now going to do is drag this video clip of Bobby into the folder directory. Now, if I return to my DaVinci Resolve window, 
we can see that inside the bobby bin, the clip of bobby does not contain a preview. This is because DaVinci Resolve cannot identify the clip of bobby, bobby.mp4 inside the folder directory on my computer, which this current file thumbnail is linked to. Therefore, what I need to do as the video editor here is point DaVinci Resolve to the folder where this video clip exists. There are two ways in which I can do this. And one, whilst I'm inside the bobby bin here, if I right click and choose relink clips for bin, inside the select source folder window, we can see the folder one directory where we originally got the bobby clip from, and also the new folder in which it is stored in. If I left click once on folder two to select this, and then choose select folder at the bottom of my window here, we can now see that the video clip of Bobby appears within the thumbnail inside the media pool. As DaVinci Resolve has recognized the location where this video clip is stored once again. What if your media file was stored inside a folder which is inside the directory that you choose inside the select source folder window? So for example, inside the folder two directory where I move the Bobby clip to, I'm now going to drag this into a new folder called folder three. Folder three is located inside folder two on my computer. Note how the thumbnail of the MP4 file for Bobby is no longer showing a preview of the video clip. If I right click on the media pool and choose relink clips for bin, I'm going to make sure that folder two is the directory which is selected here. Left click on select folder. Since the clip of Bobby was moved from folder two into folder three, the clip was not found from DaVinci Resolve. If I left click on close, what DaVinci Resolve now offers is a search through folders which are located inside the directory which I selected. So in this case here, folder three is inside folder two, which is the directory I chose for this particular search. And therefore, folder three should be found in a comprehensive search carried out by DaVinci Resolve. The amount of time taken for the search will depend on the amount of subdirectories you have on your computer and the files it needs to look through. Left click on search. And sure enough, the preview of Bobby's clip now reappears on the thumbnail. What if we had video clips inside the same bin, which come from different file locations on your computer? If I go back to the master bin and drag my red bucket clip into the Bobby bin. Now to access the Bobby bin. This video clip is still recognized by DaVinci Resolve. Inside the directory it is currently stored at on my computer. However, if in my file explorer window, I move the red bucket clip out from folder one and into folder two. Returning to the DaVinci Resolve interface, we can see here now that the red bucket clip is not recognized by the DaVinci Resolve software. What we need to do now is to run the relink function so that DaVinci Resolve recognizes the folder directory where the red bucket clip is stored in. But we also want to maintain the recognition that we have of the MP4 file with Bobby. If I right click on the media pool background and choose relink clips for bin, inside the select source folder window, I'm going to left click once on folder two where I move the red bucket clip into and choose select folder. And now we can see that the red bucket clip has been found again by DaVinci Resolve and the preview clip of Bobby is still visible inside its original thumbnail. What I can also do is right click on the thumbnail for the file which is not recognized and choose relink selected clips as a relink alternative. To relink multiple clips, simply hold control or command on your keyboard and left click on the thumbnail for each of the clips that you wish to identify a directory for. We can tell that these are selected now with the light red outlines which appear around each thumbnail. Right click on one of the thumbnails 
and choose Relink Selected Clips. Select the directory where your media clips are stored. Go to click on Select Folder and the previews for your media files should reappear inside the thumbnails, just like the Relink Clips for Bin option which we selected previously. Bins can also completely be removed by right clicking on these and choosing Remove Bin. A warning window appears which clearly explains that the bin will no longer be present in the media pool within the cut and edit pages of DaVinci Resolve. Left click on Remove. I note how the bin and its contents are removed from my project here. Remove all clips in bin on the other hand only deletes the media files stored in this but the original bin folder should remain inside the media pool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.